Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Tai Wo and I am a data scientist. So recently I received a set of data um, needed to complete a particular task at work, uh, but there was an issue with that data set and the issue was that uh, the data came in form of a PDF file. Um, and as you know, I can't just import a PDF file into my database. So I had to do something to make that data usable. So what I did was use um, Microsoft um, Power Query Editor to convert the data from a PDF file into an Excel spreadsheet. Um, there are other ways you can do this though. Um, um, you can use Adobe Acrobat if you have it, which is a paid service by the way. And there are other um, paid you know, service and applications that you can use. Uh, but in this video, I'm going to be using um, Microsoft Power Query Editor, which is a data um, connectivity and a data preparation technology that allows you to um, ac access data stored in several um, sources, and then you can reshape um, those data sets to fit your need. So what you wanna do first is to go and make sure that your Microsoft Excel is open. And under the menu tab, you click on data, and if you don't have this um, data tab, you can quickly add it by clicking on file. Uh, you click on uh, options and then you go to customize ribbon and then under um, choose command from, you can drop this down and click on main tabs and uh, click on data. Then you click on add. And after that, you can click on OK. But since I already have mine, I, I don't want to click on OK. I can, I'm going to click on cancel and that's how you can get this up in the, on the, uh, in the data, uh, in the, um, menu tab. So once you have that, what you can do is, um, what you're going to do next is to go to get data. And then you can see, I have a few options, um, from file, from database, from Azure, uh, because my data set is in a PDF file, I'm going to select from file and then I'm going to come down to from PDF. It's going to open where your file is located. You click on that file and then you click on import. Oh, by the way, I'm using a dummy um, COVID-19 data for this example. So um, I downloaded this from the internet. So um, once you have that going, um, once this comes up, so, um, Excel will try to suggest, the query editor uh, will, su will suggest um, tables for you from um, that um, file if you can find what you're looking for you can simply just you know select it and um, click on load or transform the data for example this um, table suggestion to uh, suggestion 004 um, looks like a you know good table you can you know click on load or click on transform data to further transform that data um, to suit what you want to do uh, but for me I want to use I want to go straight to my pages in my PDF and just select the uh, table that I want. And I'm thinking the table that I want is in uh, either page six. Oh, yes, it's in page six. So this is a table that I need. And I'm going to click on, I'm not going to click on load. I'm going to click on transform so that I can, you know, further, um, you know, transform this data to, to what I really need. So I click on transform data. And as you can see, I have um, column one, column two, column three, four, five, six, seven as my column headers. That's not what I want. I want my column headers to be called uh, what we have in row three. So for example, I want column one to be called reporting country, territory, area, and I want column two to be called total confirmed cases. So what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to uh, remove these two first two rows and I can do that by clicking on remote, remove uh, rows and click on remove top rows. It's gonna ask you how many rows I wanna remove and I'm going to enter the values of the, uh, the rows I wanna remove. I want the first two rows to be gone. So I click on two and I click on okay. And as you can see, we have those two rows gone. And on the right side, it says I remove top rows. But I still need to um, change. Uh, I still need, I still want this row one to be my column headers. What I need to do next next is to uh, click on use first rows as, as headers. So I click on that, 
and then I have this table. And as you can see on the right side, it shows uh, the applied steps that I, you know, uh, the steps that are applied to get to this point. So once this is this is done, or once you have what you need from your data, you can further go ahead and you know um, um, transform this data the way you want. Uh, you can uh, in the query editor you can click on advanced editor to see um, your data source, where the data is coming from, and you can do so many things. You you can replace values. You can right click on any of the columns to replace values, replace errors. You, try, you can even change the data type from, in this case, I have uh, my data type as text. You can change it to decimal numbers or whatever you want. You can do do so much using this uh, query editor. Um, but for, for this video, for this example, I think I'm done for now. I'm just going to uh, close and load that this data set into my Excel spreadsheet. So you click on close and load. And as you can see, uh, it pulled uh, over my uh, that transform um, data into this spreadsheet. And let me close this so we can see what we have here. And um, this is this is the uh, PDF file, by the way. Uh, this is the table that I just transformed, right? And this is my uh, this is the table that I transformed in Excel. And as you can see, I have it in a table format. I have uh, my rows and I have my columns uh, named the right way. And you can then, you know, from here you can even convert or you can further edit this data set, this table the way you want it. But for this example, this is all I wanted to, do, to achieve. So here you have it. Uh, you can give it a try and let me know what you think. Um, thank you and uh, please watch out for our next video. Um, we will be starting um, a tutorial um, um, on Power BI and SQL Server soon. Please uh, be on the lookout. Thank you.